All right, so this budget PC was around $200. And I'm assuming most of you have something similar to this. And I wanted to go over the OBS settings so you could stream as best as the computer can. Now, this is an i5-2400 with an R9380X. About three months ago, I built this computer. Nothing, this isn't really a opening the computer type video, but here you can see it's nothing special. Doesn't have anything crazy in it. Just your regular kind of office home computer. And contrary to belief, streaming isn't that difficult with one of these budget builds. You don't need a $1,200 computer or a $2,000 computer to start streaming. And if you're looking into building your own budget PC, I think this is a pretty good option. You can look around other channels and compare them, but I think this is a good option for around $200 you can get a fully gameable PC. So if you do want like a guide and stuff like that, I have a video, I'll link it down below, and you can take a look at how I built this computer. Let's get into OBS. I'll be using Streamlabs OBS. OBS, the regular version, is pretty similar to that, so we can start with that. So what we want to do is basically open up our OBS. I have Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio. I feel like they're kind of the same, so it really doesn't matter. I'm going to be using Streamlabs OBS. If you don't have it, I'll put a link down below so you can download it. It's free. You can use it. I'm not going to go into depth on how to add scenes and sources and audio and all that. I'm just going to give you the exact OBS settings right now. I tested out multiple settings today. My favorite setting, and I'll show you all the videos and everything. My favorite one is this one I'm about to show you right now. If we go to general, we don't move anything there. Stream, you know, you set up your stream key to the service that you're streaming. Could be Twitch, YouTube, anything like that. So we'll leave that there. Server, automatic. Output is right here where we want to actually start messing with things. Most of you will have simple. You want to go up here and click advance just for this. Audio track will be number one. Encoder, it depends what kind of graphics card you have. If you don't have a graphics card, all that's going to come up is software. Right here, X264. That's what's going to come up. And I'll show you how that, that really doesn't work. But if you do have a budget PC, like the one I showed you, it should work. And if you don't have AMD, it'll show an NVIDIA card right there. And you'll click that one. Just make sure you're clicking the one that has your graphics card. So in four stream settings, you want to keep that checked. Rescale output, we'll leave that unchecked. Preset quality, uh, this is if you have a preset. So I'm not going to select anything for that. Quality preset, I'm leaving it at balanced. Rate control, CBR, all these other ones, it's kind of caused a little bit of problems. Pre-pass mode, we'll disable that. Target bitrate, I'm going to leave it at 2,500. I, I feel like that's the best bitrate that you can have. If you're not partnered, I, I feel like that's the best. If you are partnered, I'd move it up to 3,000 if you're partnered with Twitch. And if you're not, I would leave it at 2,500. I'm leaving that at enabled. Keyframe interval, I'm entering zero. So zero for that. And view mode, I'm just leaving it at basic. That's what we have here. And for video, this is another part that you really want to pay some attention to. So this is what we want. On our base canvas resolution, we want 1280 by 720p. For our output scaled resolution, that's 1280 by 720 as well. If your stream still doesn't want to work very well with that, you can bump it down to 1024 by 576. And if it still doesn't work with that, you can bump it down even lower. But I'm gonna say 1280 by 720. I left this at bilinear. I feel like these other ones might be a little bit too many, might cause too much problems with the stream. So I left it at bilinear. And here FPS type, we're gonna leave it at common FPS. We don't wanna do any other one. And common FPS, I'm streaming at 30 FPS. The thing is, if you're not partnered with Twitch, if you don't have a lot of followers on Twitch yet, you can't really change the settings. Your viewers can't change how they want to view the video. So most likely nobody's going to be watching you in 1080p 
if you choose this, you know? So that's why this, I think this is better. And I'll show you a little bit, a little clip of how the video actually works. I mean, we could even go on Twitch if we wanted to. I don't have internet, great. Okay, so here, here we are on Twitch and here's a little dummy account that I made. Just test out the videos. So the fourth video, one, two, three, four, this one right here, is actually the video that has that. Okay, and if you see right here, you can see the sizing is too big. So it's like out of out of scale, if you would say, because it was at 1920 by 1080 P. So I had to scale it down so it fit the actual screen. And here you can see I'm scaling, scaling, scaling. Okay, and here on Twitch, this is what your view were would be watching now this isn't a very high-end PC something that you can play in 1080p stream and play I mean this still had a little bit of stuttering but I feel like this might be the best you can get I could be wrong but I will show you other settings and you can see how different each one is okay Okay, so that's the end of the first part of the video. Now, if you want to stick around and see how the other um, settings do and settings are, this is where I'm going to talk about them. So in video one, the stream settings that I used were, were 1920 by 1080p. So everything here stayed the same. The only thing that changed was our canvas size. I did 1920 by 1080 and everything else stayed the same. And here you can see the video. It's not really doing very well, but this is how that would actually look. I mean, it looks pretty crisp and clean and kind of nice, but it's stuttering and lagging and it's not doing very well. I mean, it could be my internet connection, but I'm not sure. But here we are. It started getting a little bit better. Maybe it was my internet. And you can decide for yourself if you really want to push it a little bit more or not. So video two, what I did was leave it on simple mode. Here in output, I changed it to simple. I left the video bit rate at 2500 AMD. And if we can check out the video here, it's, it's, looks pretty decent. I mean, it's not awful, but it looks kind of blurry. It looks like it's struggling a little bit with like frame rates and skip forward a little bit to 127. Yeah, it's stuttering a little bit. I mean, it's not bad. Skip to 339. I mean, it's not awful. Especially if you size it down like this. It, lo it looks pretty good, I mean, yeah. I could still chat over here on the side and keep with that. So, video number three, what I did was use advanced again. Use the same encoder AMD. But this time I chose a Twitch streaming preset, which kind of looks the same. The only thing that changed was the keyframe interval. So let's take a look at how that one turned out. So this is 
the Twitch streaming one. I mean, it looks pretty good. Nothing to really worry about. It's starting to lag a little bit. And there we go with the lags again. I feel like this one started looking pretty good, but... Okay, we'll skip forward a little bit to maybe... 203. Okay, uh, if I'm full screen, this is how it looks. If I'm a little bit, you know, not full screen, this is how it looks. I, if we can also check how it looks on the phone, or maybe a tablet, it'll probably look pretty decent. So video number five, if I went over here to the video, 1280 by 720, both of them. But the thing I changed was the output. So the output, I tried it with the software this time. I did CBR in 2500 and we did a faster preset over here on the CPU. Higher equals less CPU. So I did faster. Probably could have done super fast, but that's what I did. So if we check that, that's video number five. Okay, so here you can see on video number five with those type of settings, it was lagging. It's using the CPU to process everything, you know, to stream and stuff like that. And it's it's struggling. It really is struggling right here. You can see here at barely 27 seconds. This video only lasts one minute and 27 seconds. The video was really struggling. This is unwatchable, basically. If you don't have a graphics card and you really want to get into streaming, I would highly suggest to invest in something. Just maybe something a little bit cheaper than $50. You can get something pretty good for $50 that will stream. So let's move on to the next video and settings. Yeah, that's, that's really struggling. And video number six, actually was our last video. This one, I actually did the output. It's already here. I did choose AMD again, and I left the target bitrate at 2,500, our keyframe interval at zero, and everything else like we did in the other one. But for video, I left our base canvas resolution at 1280 by 720, but our output scaled resolution, 1024 by 576. Bilinear, fastest but blurry, common FPS and 30 FPS. So let's take a look at that video. This one did go for like seven minutes. And it's one of the smoothest ones that you can see here. I think if 1280 by 720 doesn't work for you, I would say scale it down to 576. 1024 by 576 is what we're watching right now. So definitely, if 1280 by 720 is still too much for your computer, try to scale it down. I mean, we'll take a look at how it actually looks. You can you can look on like your tablet, iPhone, whatever you have. You can look on your mobile device and see how, how it looks on there, these streams, and then you can decide which one is which, you know? I think that should conclude this video. There's nothing much else I can talk to you about. Hope you guys have a great day, great night great week whenever this video is going up whenever you're watching it and let me know down in the comments below which one of these you think is the best settings or if you have your own settings let us know hope everything's good and i will see you in another video